past the internets. It's Captain Mintbeard back with some more Knights of the Old Republic 2 Sith Lords with content restoration mods. And I am using uh, real fast. Oh, I just noticed you can look out the window. It's tight. You can see the ship. So I rigged up Joy to Key so that I could have um, a switch weapon. Uh, it's janky though. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't because it's both switch weapon and flourish, unfortunately. Cargo hold is empty. Cockpit has Atten controlling the ship with swords. Comm room is me. Engine room is empty and it's got some kind of scaffolding on there. Nice ramp. Garage. Main hold. Medical bay. Port dormitory. Okay, there's there's cream cheese. Starboard dorms are empty. Storage compartment has someone in there. All right, so by janky, I mean like if you're in the middle of a flourish, or you try to do it too soon. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like it's just it's kind of janky. It's annoying. Hopefully in combat it won't actually attempt to flourish. Damaged HK unit. Hmm. Bunch of missing parts, huh? Let's diagnose this guy. Looks like the droid is missing four components. It's processor, chassis, control cluster, and it's vocabulary. So like, what is actually left? Okay, so that's it for now. Please stop trying to flourish and look cool with the rifle. Just switch, thanks. I'm sure I'll figure out uh, how to make it not as as janky. I'm sure, like, if I would like, move or something first. So where is this dormitory I'm supposed to be finding? Oh. Well, there's a workbench that's handy. There's T3. What's up, buddy? Would you please tell me your ship's hard to find you. Do you know about that HK droid? Find one of those droids should kill some Paragus, you know. And other questions. <clears throat> My influence is too low, huh? Looks like you suffered a lot of damage. How much? I've got a pretty okay repair skill. Lost some programs too, okay. I'm glad you had I'm sure you'll gain that skill back. Might be able to upgrade your memory core. Alright, let me take a look. Let's head across circuit. I guess my computer's not high enough. Now my repair is a good bit higher, so this should succeed. That should do it, doing all right. All right, plus one con. I 
I faded out there for a second. What do you mean? Interesting. Let's see if we can... No. It's going to be a while. Thought I'd do it the first time. Okay. I guess you can only do it every so often. Can you upgrade an item for me? Yeah, so he's a portable workbench. Which is what they were talking about. Hey, can you give me some computer spikes? Can you eat more? How about more? Can you eat more? 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 Okay. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Okay. We haven't been over here yet. There she is. Have you come for more answers? There is little more left to give. When you... Your hands are anything I can do? This wound is a physical thing and will fade with time. It was necessary. Some things may only be learned from sacrifice. Mm -hmm. If I could, I would have protected you. Or, I'm sorry for your loss. Save your pity. I am here to save you, not the other way around. If we will travel together, we need to learn to work together. I do not need your condescension nor your lectures. If anyone needs training and guidance, it is you. What if you died? I do not know. I fear that the consequences would have been more extreme. More extreme? It was, uh, like death? Possibly, yes. And I fear it works both ways. I would not wish to test it, nor should you. Well, what can we do? To you know, action to place your wrist, or work together and try to be careful until you fix this. Things a threat to me and inconvenience, we dissever it. But <laughs> day you could die, day you could die at any moment. Will not allow my life to be tied to some half dead delusional woodman. Will my actions place you at risk? When battle is upon us, I suspect our minds are prepared enough to shield each other from the pain. I think we shall not have a repeat incident of what happened at Paragas. Does our connection have any advantages? It seems the force flows easily between us. When one of us manipulates the force to heal or strengthen ourselves, the other is aided as well. Force chain special ability. Okay. Neat. A powerful technique indeed. <clears throat> Though, as we have noticed, it has its drawbacks. So what do we do now? I do not know. The Sith struck more swiftly than I thought, and they will not stop until they have you in their grasp. Mm. If you fall, all the galaxy will echo it. It's gotta be somewhere we can go. It does not matter where we go. It is not the destination that matters. Mm -hmm. It is the journey. All <laughs> paths will take us to the end, whatever it may be, and no matter how strongly we fight against it. For now, we are bound for Telos, and that is enough. Uh, where are we bound again? Enough for what? We have the question that I wish to ask you. Ask, and I will answer. Uh, tell me more about the Sith. These Sith, they seek the death of all Jedi, as have all the Sith, since the Jedi Order was first split. The Sith were once Jedi? Yes. The Jedi Civil War is not the first one of its kind. Mm -hmm. Thousands of years ago, the Jedi had another civil war that split the Order. It was a terrible thing. 
A faction among the Jedi abandoned the teachings of the Order, following their own path. They waged war on their fellow Jedi, a war that raged across the galaxy. But these fallen Jedi were cast out, defeated, and they retreated to worlds in the Outer Rim. Mm. Over time, they took on the mantle of the Lords of the Sith, but in their hearts they never forgot the Jedi. The hatred for the Jedi Order burns in their veins like fire and echoes in their teachings. Revan tasted it as Malak did. Mm-hmm. These Siths are different. In a manner of speaking, they are different from Malak in that they are concerned only with the destruction of the Jedi. For them, it is all that matters, all that ever mattered. It is a different war these Sith wage, a thing of silence and shadow. They strike from the darkness, hiding from the face of the galaxy until all Jedi are exterminated. After all the Jedi are gone, then the galaxy is theirs, no matter whether the Sith or the Republic rules. It is mm. the dark side that shall reign, unchecked. Fair enough. Sith on products need some force techniques, but they're extremely weak. I believe them to be the result of special teachings. Their apparent weakness against you is evidence of this. Those Sith assassins can sense their prey through the Force. It is like a hunger. They feed and grow stronger when they are near Force sensitives. Mm. The stronger their prey is in the Force, the deadlier they become. As long as you were cut off from it, you were able to evade their sight. But after I Karagas, need. I fear that you will be no longer shielded from their eyes or the eyes of their masters. The stronger you grow, the more will come. Uh, let's see. Awesome. What else we got here? We were on Paragus. I can feel the f on Paragus. Not the Paragus. I can feel the Force again. Indeed. And was it the same as before? Felt different. Faint. If my suspicions are correct, perhaps the damage the Jedi Council did was not as permanent as they thought. It is not an easy thing to cut one off from the Force. Wait, the Jedi did this to me? What did you believe? That you suddenly lost your connection with the Force without reason? It's not possible to cut someone off from the Force. It's like deafening someone or blinding them. Indeed it is. It is much like losing one's ability to listen or being put into a deep sleep, unable to awaken to the galaxy around you. Such a thing has been done before when Jedi have pronounced sentence on their own mm -hmm. and exiled them as they did you. That's pretty beat up. I don't believe that Jedi inflicts such a punishment on someone. It seems too cruel. Well, I mean, it must be the reverse what they did. It is possible that such a thing can be undone. Still, even so, the chances of the Jedi undoing such a thing for a traitor is a slim thing at best, assuming they yet live. Is it still possible? How? Our link may have had other consequences. Perhaps you can hear the Force again, distantly, through me. If so, then there is hope. I may be able to teach you, train you to feel the Force again. And yeah, there you, you go. Just start it over again. You, then other Jedi must train you, or undo the damage they have done. will honor whatever training you wish to give me. Do not honor me, fallen Jedi. Honor it by listening and learning. Do that, and perhaps we shall survive this thing, you and I. I offer to train you to become strong again, to know the ways of the Force, and to hear the Force sing within you as it once did. Mm -hmm. I would welcome whatever aid you offer. Then our training shall begin. Whenever I travel with you, I shall impart what I can to you through my words and presence. So we got some more questions. Let's see what we got. Tell me about the wars. Much has happened in the galaxy in your absence, and since the defeat of the Mandalorians at Malachor V. What happened? Or tell me. It is a tale you already know well. 
Almost a decade ago, the Mandalorians began preying on the Republic, mm -hmm. bringing the fires of war to many planets along the Outer Rim. Their predations continued, winning victory after victory, until the Republic finally begged the Jedi Council for aid. But the Jedi Council didn't help. Only a few of the Jedi Knights did. Indeed. The Jedi Council counseled caution and patience to assess the Mandalorian it's... threat as the Outer Rim burned. Uh. And Revan and Malak refused to wait. Two Jedi Knights, Revan and Malak, defied the Jedi Council. They challenged the Mandalorian fierceness and brutality on the battlefield with a viciousness of their own. Revan's entrance into the conflict marked the true beginning and mm. end of the war. It was Revan who drove the Mandalorians back into the unknown regions. Let's see. To a destroy my Malachor 5. I have heard tales of Malachor 5 and Revan's part in it. I Except know you said there's there like Mandalorians still way past this game. It must have been a terrible thing. Unless this game's not canon, I don't know. Many Jedi, I asked you what you know, not what I know. You asked what had happened, and I am telling you. The past sent echoes into the future, and what seemed a victory for the Republic was far from it. Many believed the Mandalorians defeated at Manacor V, but the Mandalorians taught the Jedi much through battle. Mm -hmm. And so it was that Malak, Revan, and the Jedi that followed them discovered their true natures in the Mandalorian Crusade. But you know this. Uh, I felt them fall. The war had consumed them. Consumed them? No. Taught them. Defined them, yes. As Revan and Malak fought the Mandalorians in battle after battle, they grew to despise weakness, just as the Mandalorians did. In mm -hmm. the end, the Mandalorians had taught them through conflict, shaped the Jedi, and turned them into a weapon against the Republic. Uh, okay, didn't the Jedi order try to stop them? Revan and Malak and all the Jedi that served them turned against the Republic and the Jedi Order. Jedi fought Jedi. Revan was ambushed by the Jedi and captured. Malak continued to wage war in his master's place, inflicting terrible wounds on the Republic. Wounds that bleed still. How were Malak and the Sith defeated? As all Sith do without a strong enemy, the Sith turned on each other. Revan escaped the Jedi and returned to finish Malak, and that was the end of the Jedi Civil War. But what happened to Revan? No one knows, certainly not I. After defeating Malak, Revan left the Republic, and there are none who know where she has gone. It is said that the Sith remnants turned on themselves after Revan defeated Malak, reducing Korriban to ruin as the Republic still bleeds and struggles for life. Where Revan wanders now, I do not know. So Revan saved the Republic. It would seem that way from a certain point of view, perhaps. The Jedi that, civil war literally what happened. that have yet to heal. We shall see if the Republic has the strength to survive. Let's see. We must do what we can until it's a chance to recover. Da -da -da -da. A culture's teachings, and most importantly the nature of its people, achieve definition in conflict. They find themselves or find themselves lacking. Too long did the Republic remain unchallenged. It is a stagnant beast that labors for breath and has for centuries. The Jedi Order was the heart that sustained its sickness. Now the Jedi are lost. We shall see how long the Republic can survive. Anything that can be done to help it? We shall see. The Jedi Civil War cost the Republic much. The resources of the Sith seemed limitless. The Republic's was not. Oh, well, they just had the Star Forge, that's soldiers it. Soldiers and people were lost. Entire planets I think were that's decimated. what it was called. 
their inhabitants dead or refugees, it is a great burden for any civilization to bear. And this new threat, it is a quiet thing. Unlike the Jedi Civil War, mm -hmm. it drives at something deeper than the strength of the Republic. It is aimed at you. What? It's directly against me. The Republic was never what was important, ever. It was but a shell that surrounds the Jedi, just as the teachings of the Jedi are a shell surrounding the heart of man. You see, the war, the true war, has never been one waged by droids or warships or soldiers. They are but crude matter, obstacles against which we test ourselves. The true war is waged in the hearts of all living things, against our own natures, light or dark. Mm. That is what shapes and binds this galaxy, not these creations of man. You are the battleground, and if you fall, the death of the Republic will be such a quiet thing, a whisper, that shall herald the darkness to come. That's pretty metal. Uh, I, th I think I asked everything. Ask. Uh... I would see to that fool in the cockpit and remind him of our destination. I would not want him attempting to veer from Telos. He does have... He's not a fool, but he does feel odd to me. He is a fool and an imbecile. His potential lies downwards, not up. Watch that one. His thoughts are slippery. I do not trust him, and nor should you. Such a man serves himself first and his allies next. Mm, influence gained and lost. Interesting. Let's see how, like, shiny I am now. Getting there. All right. All right, so let's, uh, let's save very fast. So if memory serves. How's our passenger? She's still aging? Cryptic as always. For someone without much to say, she sure says a lot. Seems fine, just needs a rest. Well, she sure could use it. It might do wonders for her mood, too. She's lucky she's a Jedi, or someone would have killed her years ago. I mean, how old do you think she <laughs> is? She may have been good looking once, but it takes some hard living to make creases like that. Good looking? Hmm. Good looking, are you that desperate? Oh, lol. She looks good to you. You were singing Blaster Hit when I wasn't looking. Or hard living. Mm, let's let's let him kind of get that. Yeah. Her face looks like let it was passed by crazed Ord Mantel farmers. Don't tell me you were too distracted by her personality to notice. Uh, he's off the insults. She's really helping us escape, remember? Whoa, all right, all right. Don't get mad at me. Hey, I didn't ask her to stay behind and get her hand cut off, okay? I, I mean, mean, I appreciate what she did and all, but she could stand to lay off the insults herself, you know? Uh, well, I mean, how would you ask someone to do that? Never mind, I want to ask you some other questions. Oh, no, no, no. Look, look, I respect your privacy. I mean, when have I ever asked you any questions? I mean, besides that one. What do you mean about the galaxy map not being much use? Well, the astrogation system is voice printed and locked down, but that T3 unit is doubling as the astrogation system. You can try to plot a course, but without that T3 unit to perform the calculations, you'd probably plow us into a star. As long as he doesn't steal the ship, we should be all right. Who voice printed it? I have no idea. Previous owner, maybe? I'd love to get it overhauled, but that's a major job. Besides, the droid will be good enough for now. Why would someone lock it? Takes all kinds. Maybe someone didn't want anybody taking the ship out of the system, or knowing where the ship had been. Smugglers do it all the time in case the Republic decides to board them. Or so I hear. Yeah, uh-huh. Do you know anything about that assassin droid? Uh, not much. 
Except sounds like it was after you. As far as I'm concerned, you handled that pretty well. No more droid, no more problem. What make droids go crazy like that? <laughs> yeah, well, you got me there. Look, droids, I don't trust them. That one we fought, some of them are built like that. Others just, well, break. In the head. Sometimes conflicting <laughs> orders cause it. Give a droid too much data or tell it to do something it can't do, it'll crack their behavior module in half. Others just don't get memory wipes and they start going crazy. <laughs> Speaking of which, this I think that little trash compactor is long overdue. <laughs> Trust me, droids were made to break. And most of all, they're predictable and stupid. Wow. Let's uh, get to Tila. For, looks like so, I'm getting to Tila's for right now. What happened? Uh, to what? Don't give me that. There were plenty of times back on Paragus where a lightsaber would have been helpful. So where's yours? My well, lightsaber was taken from me by the council. Oh yeah? I thought a Jedi was supposed to be married to their lightsaber. Guess Kinda. I heard wrong. Were you a single hilt or one of those double-bladed Jedi? Single. Huh. Figures. It wasn't red, was it? Actually, it was. The crystal was redder than Allegrix. I... Both the blade and the crystal are unique. It's been so long since so I've forgotten. I barely remember what it used to feel like, much less look like. Yeah, unique how? It was blue, usually used by guardians, green side so counselors, yellow, sentinels, blade, violet like uh hurricane gems in the sunset. Orange like the sun, Viridian, one that they'd never seen before. And silver I think you're like predicting when you find your saver. Let's go with Violet, like the gen like those the hurricane gems, <laughs> or whatever. Should how be you nice say to that. have it now. Might make those Sith think twice before coming after us. It's no matter. It's taking me long ago. All right, forget I said anything. Like I said before, you can check our course on the galaxy map if you want. It's on the wall behind you. Alright, so this has been a fair amount of chatting. Well, no. Should be there before too long. Okay, yes, I was trying to check the map. Alright, so now we can travel to Telos, and we will do that at the start of the next episode. So, sorry, this was kind of, this was, uh, it's kind of like a, lot, a big plot dump. The game is kind of like that sometimes, because it's, you know, it's an old school RPG where characters actually spend time talking and stuff like that so uh you know lots of lore and character development and choices like impactful choices so this has been star wars knights of the old republic 2 captain Mintbeard. i appreciate each and every one of you who watches so wash your hands wear your masks stay safe stay healthy thank you so much and peace out